SUV into a house, which then exploded in the city of Oneida two weeks ago, has been charged in connection to that incident. The teen, who is being handled as a juvenile suspect, is facing 30 criminal charges, including two counts of grand larceny, two counts of criminal possession of stolen property, nine counts of criminal mischief, and a DWI, among other charges. He was arraigned in the youth part of the Madison County Court and then released into the custody of an adult. Our Eyewitness News reporter Josh Riley spoke to the district attorney today about how the criminal justice system handles cases when the offenders are still kids. After a ruling on September 14th that directed the suspect in the Proctor shooting to be tried as an adult, Eyewitness News wanted to see where the case is at, as well as understand what it looks like when a juvenile is tried as an adult. The Proctor um, shooting case is now pending grand jury. So what happens is from the time that the crime was committed, we have 45 days to place the case, to get the case into the grand jury. And um, I would anticipate the case would be put into grand jury sometime within the next month. And assuming the grand jury returns an indictment against him, on the indictment itself, he will be defined as a juvenile or as a um, adolescent offender. Under the New York State Raise the Age Law, youths 16 to 17 who are charged with felony crimes and tried as adults are classified as adolescent offenders, which carries some slight differences from a true adult trial. So his case will then be heard in the youth part of county court, which is criminal court. It's the same county court judge, it's the same courtroom, it's, all those things are the same. The only difference is the court is supposed to not have him in court at, at the same time as the adult offenders. Then, if an adolescent offender is found guilty, what does the sentencing process look like? When somebody that's under the age of 18 gets convicted, um, and whether they're convicted as a juvenile offender, adolescent offender, they do not go to regular prison. Um, they, go, they are placed in a juvenile offender facility until they turn 21. Now, assuming their sentence takes them past the age of 21, when they turn 21, they're removed from the juvenile offender facility and then they're placed in regular state prison. There is currently no word on the grand jury decision regarding the suspect in the Proctor shooting case. Eyewitness News is following this story closely and will provide all updates as they become available. Reporting from Utica, I'm Josh Riley, Eyewitness News.